Hey guys, so this past weekend I went to South, Gulf City, Gulf City Mall. Um, I was in the area to do something else, but I realized that they were having this vintage car show along with some vintage items from yesteryear and some modern cars. So I decided to take the camera that I normally have hooked up in my truck. So this video is not all that fancy. I don't have the stabilizer, it's impromptu. But let's take a look. Who remembers this vehicle? When I was a kid, I saw this vehicle a lot. Never liked the shape of it. I know I might get grilled for that from some of you car lovers, but I just was not into that shape of vehicle. I like how they restored it though. Excellent job. You know what's really nice about these uh, vintage cars is the simplicity. I mean, when you go inside there, if you look inside of there, it's just simple. Then all these buttons and distractions, it's, you know, you, you sit in a vehicle and you're geared for the trip and to look outside rather than be looking inside. It seems like vehicles nowadays, they just want you to look inside. You have all kinds of control panels and stuff, even something to watch videos. Alright, so that bike is not a Ford, that is. And of course, this is way beyond my time. Look at that license plate, a P5891. How many of you would like to sit in this and take it for a ride? I love the back seat, the external back seat right there. sure what this is. I didn't really have a chance to speak with everyone but it looks like the frame for another vintage vehicle. These are some older bikes, tricycles. And look at that double scart. This is how they used to sell doubles. Not like how they have it now with stands and shops. I remember the doubles man would come to your home, buy his bike and that's how you got doubles. the size of that padlock. I know you're probably thinking I'm moving fast and I could probably stay on each item but really I did not come to the mall to look at this. This was all a surprise for me and I had wished I took my microphone and other gear in order to maybe speak with some people about it but that may be something for me to do in the future. Have a look at this Vauxhall. And look again at the simplicity of that engine. You will see it in a little bit. I mean, when you're going to engine today, it's you don't even know where to start. But this, I mean, you could service everything in this so easily. That's why I like older vehicles. I don't remember seeing Capri's around in my time. Uh, maybe they were here, maybe a few people had them, I don't know. But I don't really recall seeing many of these. Maybe I'm just not old enough. Or maybe not many had them here. If you're wrong from that time, please let me know in the comments. Did you see many Capri's in Trinidad? Just taking in some of the booths, we'll sell in different stuff. But 
When I was younger, I really loved motorcycles, but as an older guy and with some of those crazy driving videos that I've presented, you can see why I would not entertain being on a motorcycle in Trinidad. They just drive too crazy here. So they had some modern vehicles, as you can see. I can't imagine the price they must be charging for this locally. I am more of a truck kind of guy. I'm not really into the speed, I'm more into the power of the vehicle. Be able to go anywhere. Just taking in some of the sights of Gold City Mall. Thanks for being here.